When Sony launched the RX Zero, I immediately started thinking about how it would fit into the types of projects that I do. That I would eventually mount them to some of my friends' airshow airplanes was a given, like I've already done with Sony's 4K Action Cam. But because I got scuba certified not long ago, and since the camera is waterproof out of the box down to about 30 feet or 10 meters, I thought it would be really fun to go to Oahu, Hawaii and shoot some freediving. And that's exactly what we did. I'm Jeff Berlin, a filmmaker, a photographer, and a Sony artisan of imagery. Our goal for this film, shot exclusively on the RX-0, was to harness many of the camera's cool features in different and creative ways. And I wanted to convey how dreamy and elegant freediving really is. And the RX-0 turned out to be a great tool to do exactly that. What's really interesting to me about the RX-0 is what it is not. It's not an action camera. It's a compact production camera with a Zeiss 24mm lens and the full functionality of a professional camera allowing me to shoot content that is much more cinematic than what a typical action camera is capable of. One of the benefits of the camera's small size was that with a little bit of Velcro and gaff tape, I was able to fly it on my drone, a unique H520, to get that overhead shot of the waves at Oahu's North Shore. All of the underwater sequences were shot at 60 and 120 frames per second, these higher frame rates allowed us to slow everything down in post very smoothly. This slow motion was key to imparting into the film a more lyrical and ethereal feeling, especially in the sequences where our freediver Natalie is in the dress. To calibrate the cameras at depth, Adam and I used an underwater color and white balance card. This turned out to be critical to the success of the final image. Back in Los Angeles with our final cut in the can, Adam and I visited our friends at Bertoni Visuals for a couple hours behind the decks of a full Da Vinci Resolve color grade system. Since we shot the whole film in either S-Log2 or Cine2, a color grade session was critical to bring out the colors from the desaturated and low contrast look of log footage. I'm really looking forward to incorporating this camera into upcoming projects, and of course, hanging it on a few airplanes. Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah, baby!